Hey guys, so I wanted to give you guys a piece of advice, probably the biggest piece of advice I could give you guys, especially if you're a new CNA or someone who is in um, CNA training. Never, I will repeat, never, never, ever, ever take things personally as a CNA. Um, you will have confused patients, patients with dementia, um, patients' families, residents' families, um, nurses, things like that who are going to get frustrated, they're going to get upset, and they're going to say something. They may mean it, they may not mean it, but never take things personally. You have to, in this job, you really have to kind of detach yourself from the situation and learn how to just not be super sensitive about things. I used to be so, like, easily offended <laughs> and after I worked um, after I worked for a little bit in memory care that's when I found it not as difficult as far as like becoming easily offended um, because people when they have dementia and Alzheimer's, they don't know what they're saying. You know, <clears throat> I've had people call me fat. I've had people, you know, say a whole bunch of stuff, talking about how I'm a terrible CNA and all these other things. And if I took everything personally that patients or family members or nurses or coworkers said about me, I would have, like, quit a long time ago. I would have quit, like, before I even finished the CNA class because um, actually at my clinical site we had some nurses that worked there that were not like they were not nice at all they were like super negative they didn't like the fact that there was students there and um, you know they just it seemed like they just didn't want any part of our class being there and um, I'm not sure if any of my classmates had the same experience, but um, I very quickly learned, you know, not to take things personally. And I have found it to be a lot easier to deal with. You know, when people say those things, if I take a break and kind of separate myself from the situation. Um, now, don't get me wrong, there have been days where I have walked out of a patient's room after they've said something like that and like super rude about me or about the care that I've provided to them and I have broke down in tears and it will happen you know there's days when I've driven home from work and I have just cried my eyes out the entire way um, and there's days when this job like makes me so so happy and it's so fulfilling and you know there's other days where I just like wonder why I why I did this to myself um, why I continually put myself through this but just never never let something that a patient or a patient's family member or a co-worker whether it's a nurse CNA administration never let them deter you from your goals never let them put you down to the point where you know you just feel like you're this terrible person you have to like I said build up that wall if you need to just let it go in one ear and out the other because you know the quality of your work um, so yeah that's pretty much it if you guys have any questions or anything that you'd like me to talk about let me know um, I'm here and I'm an open book as you guys very well know so yeah just remember you are a great CNA yes this is my dongle <laughs> um, you are a great CNA and or you will be a great one and never let what people say stop you from reaching for that dream and if you know if you're not trying to be a CNA if you're trying to become a nurse you'll be a great nurse too you'll get there just you can't let people deter you from the path that you're on and from the goals that you've set for yourself but um, I kind of went off the path a little bit 
but you guys get the, the, the drift of what I'm trying to say. So, um, anyways, never take things personal and make sure you practice really good self-care because that's also very important, especially when you've been dealing with stressful things like that because if you let it, it will drive you crazy. But anyways, I will talk to you guys again in a couple days.